Hey everybody, this is Anna Chaos for another Anna Chaos Topics. And one of the things that when I was dropping weight, those of you guys who've known me for a while, especially a lot of the people that see me go through my transformation, uh, they actually kind of wonder what I did about clothing uh, sometimes. Um, when you are, I know here in the States, when you are plus size, it gets kind of a little bit more difficult to find really cute clothes. So you're pretty much down to either wearing old lady clothes so you can find Sears to JC Penney's, which I'm sorry guys, your clothes are so hideous. I've never seen such ugly ass clothes. Or you can pay a small fortune and go to like Lane Bryant or Torrid, which they have really cute clothes. It's just really, really expensive. So, I mean, if you're like me, you're kind of budget conscious, and I mean, I have a hard time spending more than 20 bucks on a shirt, unless it's like a nice dressy shirt. I'm not going to spend $40, $50 on a you know, little spaghetti top, which I have seen before uh, back in my heavier days. Uh, believe it or not, at one point in my life, um, I was actually 325 pounds. And if you actually either on my Facebook or my Instagram, there's a picture of me back in the day. Uh, actually, it's mainly on my Facebook. And uh, yeah, I used to be 325 pounds, and it was horrible trying to find clothes. You either have to find a one-size-fits-all at 5X. It's terrible. And um, or if it was really ugly or I got used to wearing black. So even to today, you know, I'm now 163 pounds. I'm still trying to break out of the habit of, excuse me, I need some water, of wearing nothing but black. So forever I wore nothing but black, gray, and purple because purple is my favorite color. So when you're losing weight, keep in mind the first, the probably the first couple like weeks, you might not see major changes, and then suddenly you're going to see do 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 do, and it's going to drop. During that time period, try to abstain from going out and buying a whole new wardrobe every time, especially if you actually have longer term goals like I did. You know, I started the second time around because I was 325, dropped to 180, life happened, went back to 260 something, and now I'm down almost 100 pounds at 163. This is what I'm currently as of today. Um, I will buy just a few pieces of clothing, clothing here and there. Even with my bras, I was still kind of to be mindful. I try to like just wait until I lost like two bra sizes before I went ahead and bought more. Because ladies, you know, bra sizes like they bras are expensive. Good bras are at least fifty bucks a pop. And when you're dropping, you know, fifteen, twenty pounds every couple months, that racks up real quick in bras. So you have almost by the time you drop to the next size, you have almost a pristine new bra. Because if you're like me, I use my bra till that thing falls apart. Fifty dollars a pop? Oh yeah, that thing, that thing's gonna gonna last me a while to like the wire sticking out and there's maybe like a chicken hanging from it. I am not getting rid of that bra. <laughs> so, but it gets a little expensive. So what I did for a little while, I started going to thrift shops. So once I was small enough, because for a little while, obviously you know, three x, two x, one x. When you go to thrift shops, it's kind of hard to find anything that's kind of kind of eh, kind of like it whatever but when you start getting into like normal sizes so example for me once I started reaching uh, extra large I started just going to Goodwill and I started going to um, what was the other one uh, yeah mainly Goodwill there's a lot of Goodwills up here and if you're from Florida like I am the, the Goodwills in Tampa they're like giant Walmarts so here in North Carolina they're a little smaller but if you like to bargain hunt it actually turned out pretty good so for me, as I was dropping the weight, I'd just go to Goodwill and i just replace my wardrobe. I would grab my previous clothes, set it to the side, just in case for whatever reason, I just started going back up. And then I just put in the new clothes. So anytime I fit into a new outfit and something before they didn't fit, I'll go and I set it to the side. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Um, just like we're kind of, as females, we're programmed to only get happy when the scale goes down. And at the end of the day, when you're working out, you realize that you're gaining muscle, you're going to gain weight, so you mainly have to go by measurements. Well, the same thing goes with clothing. So pretty much when you go and you start losing the weight, uh, even though, you know, in some sizes you might be a large, and another one you might be a medium, don't think that all the clothes that you buy from now on is going to be a medium. Buy clothes that fit you correctly. And that's something that even I struggle to today. I linger between a medium and a small. And I personally would love to buy nothing but small because that to me is my reward. That's me saying you made it. 
but I also got to be aware that I have to wear stuff that fits correctly. So just keep in mind when you when you're pretty much going through a massive you know weight change like I did, don't be shy to go out to the thrift shops. You know I rather spend. $40 and get something to just get me by for the few months while my body is still changing that dropping four five hundred dollars on a whole new wardrobe then two or three months is going to be obsolete so I'd rather spend that in my final wardrobe my ultimate wardrobe when I'm done transforming and I'm going to enjoy that clothes and I'm going to be staying in that clothes for a while because the old clothes is going to go bye bye so once it starts getting snug up oh, back to the gym <laughs> So and granted, I'll probably never stop going to the gym because I really enjoy working out. So, But it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, so you're not just stuck. You're not just stuck buying at major retailers. Make sure you can go to Goodwill and all the other shops and you would be fine. But anyway, guys, this has been Anna Chaos for Anna, Anna, Anna Chaos Topics. Uh, please follow me on Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube. I'm also my bodybuilder and I am also on my fitness pal. Uh, don't be shy to drop me a line. Please don't be a jerk and be a troll and just leave me nasty messages. Know who you are. All right. And uh, oh, don't forget about my GoFundMe. I'm still pretty much just taking donations. As you guys know, I went to Tummy Tuck and Breast Lift. So I'm still taking donations for that. Or just go ahead and just donate towards my cost. But anyway, guys, it's been Anna Chaos for another Anna Chaos Fitness. And talk to you later. Bye bye.